Hello, welcome to a quick demonstration on how you can calculate the intercept coefficient in Excel. Right, obviously you need to have a data set. In this case, we do have a data set of our market value, right? Or market value. And so uh, in this particular demonstration, we're going to be using only two variables, uh, the dependent variable, which is the market value, and the independent variable, which is the square footage. Right, so we want to figure out what the intercept is going to be or the constant value that we then be able to use uh, to uh, calculate, um, you know, or rather to solve uh, the linear equation. Uh, there, there are many ways of actually doing this. Uh, in many cases, uh, people tend to use uh, the regression analysis where you can actually calculate all the coefficients so that we'll be able to use uh, the, that linear regression for the purpose of predicting uh, the dependent variable, in this particular case, the market value. But for this particular demonstration, I just want to show how to calculate the intercept only, that constant value. So again, we enter the equal sign, and if we type in intercept, you can see intercept actually comes up, and it does tell you what it actually does. It calculates the point at which a line will intersect the y-axis by using a best-fit regression line plotted through uh, the known uh, X values and Y values, quite a mouthful, right? So we double click on it to activate it. And then again, here you can see that it's saying, okay, show me the data range for the Y axis, which is our dependent variable, comma. And then now, uh, what about the X? Uh, the X axis, which is going to be our independent variable. So we select that, close in parenthesis, we press enter, and it does tell us that um, our constant, right, um, our constant or our intercept is actually going to be 32,673 for this particular data range. And then, of course, we'll be able to factor We'll be able to factor this value here in our linear equation for the purpose of for solving for the y, which is our dependent variable. A very, very important coefficient for the purpose of resolving a linear equation. Otherwise, uh, that's all I wanted to demonstrate here for you. Um, otherwise, uh, again, as usual, uh, if you find this video helpful, like it, share it, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and bye for now.